We now return to Sesame Street, now on HBO. Why would the principal make all the students do that? I don't know. I think he's going through a tough time. He's in the middle of a bad divorce. What? How do you know that? He's actually been pretty open about it. Across the country. And here's today's Tuesday trivia question. Does this sound like yelling? Because apparently this sounds to some people like yelling. Leave me alone, you guys. Relax. We're taking the day off from bullying. Oh, thank God. Does anyone know how to push down the backseat of a Highlander? I know I can make a bed in there, I just don't know how. Oh my god, Principal Shepard, what's wrong? <laughs> oh my god. Principal Shepard, your wife is on the line. She says, uh, uh, oh god, harder. Welcome, members of our school community. Let's call to order this emergency meeting of the school board regarding Principal Shepard's meltdown. Lois, well, I'm done with my gum. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. Peter, shh. I'll take it. However, I was informed earlier today that she was found dead in her car. <coughs> hey, Lois, maybe I should do it. I've always wanted a job where I can let my dandruff go wild. What? No way. I'm not having my dad be the principal. How embarrassing. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know what? You guys are wrong, and I'm going to prove it to you. Again, any volunteers? I'll be your new principal. Wonderful. Why don't you come on up and introduce yourself? Name is Peter. Check. That ain't no lie. Check. I go pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Oh, how sweet it is. Check, check. Um, why was this Listerine in the garbage? Oh, your father says he doesn't need it anymore now that he's a high school principal. Oh, my God. He's not really doing that, is he? I'm only going to get bullied worse now. Too late. I've already been practicing giving students awkward and uncoordinated high fives. Chris, if I may. Yay! Two fingers inside of the palm contact. Mm -mm. I feel you, Meg. Shut up. You shut up. Good morning, children. I am your interim principal, Mr. Griffin. And to show I'm a fun principal, I'm going to do the ice bucket challenge. How about we all do an expertly choreographed lip dub to a popular song? Go. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. Styling, wilding, living it up in the. Ah! Hey, stupid! What the hell are you doing? That's my daughter. Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Get on your knees and lick that up. What? Are, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm the principal. Now, you little punks, get to class. And if you see Miss Milliken, tell her I said, Hey, what's up? Wow, Dad, that was really something. Miss Milliken's just a friend. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean the way you handled those guys that were picking on me. In fact, if you're going to lead this school, you've got to know that kids need discipline. Especially kids like them. And their friends, Jeremy and Bridget. All right, listen up, maggots. Fun's over. There's going to be some changes around here. And what better way to show you I'm serious than to smash a desk with a baseball bat? Okay, we'll pick this up on Monday. Do any of you know my wife, Lois? Tell her I'm on the bats and to come get me. She'll know what it means. You salute that flag when you walk by, kid. Loads of people fought for that thing, including yours truly. You were in the service? I may have misunderstood what yours truly means. He wouldn't kiss Ruth at the Sadie Hawkins dance, even though she bought him dinner before at Walt's Roast Beef. Well, I don't see how that's got anything to do and with... And he called you fat. Oh, I'm gonna squish him. Gary Ratowski, hockey cop. Give me that purse. Hey, criminals. Uh-oh, here come the real cops. Hockey cop, not a cop. Okay, so I think Lee Blanding gets detention... And for Jason O'Neill, maybe he could pants him during an assembly. Yes, good. I like that. He's actually made the school a lot better. Huh. Well, I gotta admit, I was skeptical, but it sounds like things are going pretty well down there. You bet they are. He's just saying he wants to use his key to drive me to school tomorrow in his car. Peter, what exactly are you doing down at that school? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a great job. <laughs> Students, this is a chair without a seat. Jeff Banfield, I'd like you to please come down here, take your pants off, and sit. That means now, Mr. Banfield! Mm. 
What is going on here? Mr. Griffin, you are hereby relieved of your duties. <gasps> A promotion? No, you're fired. We've reinstated Principal Shepard. Wait, he's back? Dad's fired? Who did this? Who turned him in? I did. Hi, Mrs. Griffin. Hi. Hi, Patty. Well, I guess your mom was right all along. I had no business running a school. Can I be honest with you, Dad? I thought you were awesome. Come on, Meg. Let's go home. And next time I want to get back at your bullies, I'll do it the old-fashioned way, as a grown man beating up teenagers in a parking lot. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Eight pounds, Yankee Doodle do or die. Twelve nine. Yes, everything takes him longer these days. His cataracts are getting worse. Hey, Lois, look over there. It's Jessica Chastain. Okay, for the first of our 65 performances tonight. Oh. One, two, three and to the foe. Meg, Meggie, Meg and Dr. Ruth is at the dope. Murder! That's enough. I am so sick of this being used as a platform to attack genetically modified foods. You can't silence the truth! Okay, up next, here's Evelyn Fong, our 11-year-old high school junior. Oh, my God. Peter, what the hell are you doing? I'm learning violin. It's kind of like my new hobby. Well, if we're talking about new hobbies... Now it's nothing. I always like the violin, because it kind of has curves like a lady. Hey, you know what? Maybe you guys could learn an instrument, too, and then we could all play together. See, that's how you do muchacho. And, you know, there's four of us. We could be a string quartet. All right, I'll do it. But first, you guys got to do one thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a blast. All right, fine, I haven't. But I've been doing other violin stuff. Like, I bought this jacket like what Bugs Bunny wears when he's with that opera guy. Yo, Peter, those tails are soaking wet. They may have been in the toilet. You guys, I got great news. Some skank I used to bang is getting married, and they need someone to play at the ceremony. We got our first gig! Wow, a wedding. That's awesome. Oh, hold on, hold on, Peter. That's terrible. You sounded like you were strangling a cat. No work? I stared in the mirror for hours playing air violin to the song Bittersweet Symphony. Peter, you're out of the group. What? Well, fine. Screw you guys. What are you doing here? I thought you were rehearsing with the guys. Ah, the bastards kicked me out because I'm not good enough. Oh, and they also taught me that if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. Peter, I'm not falling for your trick. But if you're upset about the guys kicking you out of the group, you can't really blame them. The violin takes discipline and dedication. You never even practiced. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll take some lessons. I'm going to work really hard, just like my deodorant. Try. Apply every five minutes, and you're good for five minutes. And now for the confusing commercial backstory. Ready for the fundraiser, Dad? Yeah, be right there, buddy. We're going to a fundraiser. There you go, Mr. Glenn. Thanks. Hey, can I get a couple of extras of these plastic bags? Let me just test this out quickly. Those scales sound terrible. You fat and lazy. You leave now. Oh, please. I gotta get better so I can be as good as my friends. Again, I'm trying. I'm trying. Try harder. Play better. <laughs> Is somebody making a Cuban sandwich? Listen, Peter, we know you've been working hard on the violin. Well, that's the thing. We decided we'd rather be lousy with you than great without you. Joe, no offense, but I'd prefer to hear it from someone else. Oh, you bet I will. Oh, thanks. You guys won't regret this. And don't you worry, I'll be ready. Unlike Lois getting dressed for a night out. Whoa! 
Not a chance. Mr. Washy Washy took all the joy out of this. I hate the violin. I hate music. I hate life. And I'm never doing this again. As I